What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. We're here in my kitchen. It is, I don't know, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I don't know. But I do know it's nighttime. I got my cup of coffee. It's decaf. No caffeine for this guy after dark. I'm editing Lake Sonoma, one of the last SD cards I found of Lake Sonoma. It's a sad into an era. Lake Sonoma is my home. I love that lake dearly. And those of you who fish Lake Sonoma know what I'm talking about. It's not necessarily the, the big bass factory. It's not going to blow your mind with, you know, catching a thousand fish out there or none of that. There's just something about Lake Sonoma. I can't put my finger on it. But I do know Lake Sonoma was the first big lake that I took a step into to learn how to lake fish, like especially without a fish finder. No fish finder. I started off with a crappy, cheapy, inflatable kayak that lasted maybe a month. Maybe, I don't know. But it's always been a place where I can go and I can relax, catch fish, enjoy the view. Life's good. I've noticed within the last 60, 80, 90 days, some date range like that, my channel's kind of exploded. Like, not like viral, not any of that crazy stuff, but I've noticed this upwards trajectory of subscribers, you guys, and likes, comments, all that good stuff. So keep it up, please, and thank you so, so much. It might be a thing where I hit a thousand subscribers by end of this year. I don't know. That's, that's, that's hopeful wishing, but I think we can do it. So thank you guys so much. Until next time, I hope you guys enjoy this content I make. I hope you enjoy this video. So, I'm back out here at Lake Sonoma, trying to just find my way around here. I know with the, with the, uh, we're kind of in the late spring, early summer at this point, mid-May, early mid-May. You know, it's just trying to figure out kind of what these fish are doing. I know, from what I understand, some of them are still spawning, some of them aren't. Um, you know, it's kind of like a 50-50 type of deal. So, trying to work these banks. Try Ned Rig, Jig, you know, the, the good stuff. The stuff that usually, for me, gets to, gets it done. So, we're going to see what happens and hopefully we'll get a couple. Oh, he's had it too. There he is. There you go. Oh, there's one falling. You guys see that? Oh. Oh, he's following him right there. No way. There's two of them right there side to side. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Clearance. I can actually make a cast without spooking him. Go back in there and see what happens. You can tell they're they're super aggressive because to have one come up and eat it twice, or I don't know if there was another one that ate it, but I had I, I got hit twice. I hooked the one and then there was another one that followed him all the way back up. So that's a that's a pretty good indication that these guys are hungry and feisty. Got him. Little guy. so weird they're hitting it but they keep putting it down I don't know what that is but it's a pretty noticeable thunk it's like a thunk thunk and then you'll drop it thunk thunk drop it you know the dam is a good spot for just about any any type of fish to spawn hang out seek cover 
find food. And I didn't get it on camera, but right before I turned on my camera, I had something pick my my jig up as I was ruining it up. So I'm not sure if they're just, if these big smallmouth, they're looking for a reaction bait. There's one. So they keep on, they keep dropping it. It's just crazy. Ooh, it looks like a large mouth. I'll take it. Not a bad one. Boom. Cool. Here, get out of these rocks here. Where'd he go? Whew. On the Ned. There's, this wind is just, it's, it's, it makes it extremely difficult to uh, not just fish, but more importantly, be safe. I, you know, I'm out here and I'm catching fish or whatever, but with a uh, wind like this, you never know. Something happened, you get pushed into these rocks. Like, look how quickly I'm moving. I'm not even, I'm not even doing anything. I'm about to hit this, I'm about to hit this rock wall. Oh. Yeah, that's the, uh, for anyone who fishes Lake Sonoma, Especially on a boat or a kayak, you guys probably know. It is a windy lake. It takes no prisoners, that is for sure. So, just gotta make sure you're extra safe and prepared. But, all right, let's get back in there. That was a snag. Maybe it isn't a snag. What is it? Oh no, it's just a big old smallie. Oh my gosh, that's a big one. Ooh. Oh my goodness. That's a nice smallmouth. Here, get out of here. Oh. Get hit by the waves. All right. Cool, skinny. You know, I think these are, naturally these are pretty big fish, but you can tell they're either postponed or just not, just not getting enough food. They're big fish, but they're just not really filled in all. So hopefully this guy can bulk up. I'm gonna keep on working this back out to about there, straight ahead. And uh, I thought that was a fish. That would not be a fish, that would be a snag. But yeah, I'm gonna work this bank all the way back down. Maybe work a little bit that way into that area up there. And then that'll probably do it. 
get this snag out first here. Got it. Another chunk. Oh. This is a good one. Okay, maybe not that good. I thought he would be better. Large mouth, cool. <sighs> On the Ned. Good pound and a quarter. <laughs> 